Hello. I have um, absolutely no idea of where this project will go. Um, I've just decided to do it to communicate in this way. Um, as an attempt to stop myself from going crazy, basically. Um, life has become insane for me and um, I'm trying to find a way forward. So this is, a, uh, this is a method that I'm doing to see how it goes. So as I say, I'm not sure what I'm trying to achieve with this in terms of how I'm going to actually do it, but I'll see how it goes. So my name is Ro, and um, I've suffered a brain injury. And I don't know if you can see the scarring on top of my skull. So it was quite a severe fall that I had that led to the brain injury. Um, I don't know how the fall happened. But um, I'm forced to accept because I don't know anything. I just woke up and I was in this condition. I'm forced to accept that it may have been a suicide attempt. Now that seems insane to me. Um, absolutely crazy and I don't want to accept it. But I'm forced to accept it as a possibility because I'm in this situation. So... Maybe it was and so here I am. Or maybe it was an accident. And I suppose that it doesn't really matter how I got here. I'm here in this position. And I have to deal with it somehow. So I'm looking for ways to try and deal with it. And one of the, one of the ways is to do this project. Um, as I say, I have no idea if it will work. And um, if it will be of interest to, to anyone. But um, I'm not doing it for the people, frankly. I'm doing it for me. But I do want to have contact with people. And possibly help people, maybe by sharing my experience um i don't know if it'll work but i'll we'll have to see so my knowledge of things is simply that i woke up and i found myself in this situation and the situation is very difficult um, one side of my body is is really quite badly affected or quite badly disabled. I can still walk with a stick. Um, I, I mainly use a stick, but I'm starting to walk without the stick now. But it's very slow, awkward walking. And um, it's very early days without the stick. So you should appreciate the fact that they you walk if you can walk. Because it, although it seems simple and ordinary and doesn't amount to much, it's just something that you do without thinking about it. The reality is that walking is rather complicated. And when you have an injury like mine, or I suppose if you're drunk or whatever, you realise how much goes on to be able to walk properly. Um, I'm just aware of other people in the building. I'm in the supported living for now at the, mo at the moment, which means my food is cooked for me and, and organised for me. Um, and people are there to observe me and make sure that I'm safe. Um, I wash myself at the moment. Um, and I do some exercises every day with staff. 
which involves walking the stuff in my room to work on balance and, and things and stretching and I do some short walks in the community as well um, and it is very tricky as I say to walk but um, I'm glad that I'm doing something um, so I suppose initially what I'm trying to do here is communicate that you should appreciate the things you have in life that maybe you don't think about very much um, your ability to walk and talk um, and dress yourself and wash yourself and go to the toilet by yourself all of these things are actually remarkably complicated but obviously you've learned how to do them over time and it, you don't think about it anymore but you really should understand how much is going on when you do these things so you're far more capable than you realise and the only time you realise that the, the, the complexity of the things that you do naturally the only time you realise that is when you're drunk or when you're injured and then you realise oh my goodness there are a lot of things that I have to do to be able to walk normally and stand up without, without falling over so I do need to be careful in the, in the things that I do to try and keep myself safe because there's lots of ways that I can get injured if I'm not careful um, so life is very strange at the moment I, I, I wake up basically and I do some exercises with staff as a wake up type thing then I have breakfast which I prepare myself to some extent but staff are there to make sure that I'm safe my sense of taste is not there most of the time so it's very frustrating and it goes back to what I said about appreciating some of the things that you do and have that you may not think about your sense of taste is actually something that can disappear and it can be taken away and and then of course you realise how important it is um, but I am hopeful with my sense of taste because it does come back sometimes so it's mostly gone but sometimes there so I'm very glad about that um I forgot where I was so yeah the consequences of the incident or suicide attempt I just don't know the consequences have been physical and mental the physical difficulties are that one side of my body is more damaged than the other side of my body so um it's very awkward one, one leg is very stiff for example when i'm walking and um one hand is it, not so functional as the other hand um so it is awkward to move around and just even moving around in bed is quite awkward but I, at least I can do it and one of the things I've realised is that there are so many things that can go wrong with you I never thought about these things before in life but there's a tremendous amount that can go wrong with you and I'm actually, for all the problems I have I'm actually very lucky compared with how it could be the fact that I can speak now and use my phone and watch television a little bit listen to music and walk around it will call it stumbling but at least I can do it but I could have lost an arm or a leg I could have been com completely disabled um, and there are so many people dealing with this this thing and it just didn't occur to me before to really think about what it's like for these people 
So I'm definitely realizing it now. Which is why I'm so grateful for having the functionality, the functionality that I do have compared to how it could have been. And so I'm in, I'm in tight bodily. Um, I do stumble around and walking is difficult, moving is difficult. And there is some pain and awkwardness. But um, at least I'm mostly functional. So that's something. One one of the main things that's a problem for me is my memory. My memory is basically gone to a very large extent. Um, I, I can't retain much information. Um, so if people say something to me, I will generally forget it, forget it quite quickly. So I have to make notes. I haven't got used to that yet properly. But I'm going to have to start making notes of everything that happens to keep track of how my day's progressing. So I am starting to do that. And I might do audio notes and whatever to try and get a rhythm for it. And my main hope is that my memory would improve over time. But I just don't know and no one can tell me either. So I just have to see basically how that goes. So memory is the main thing. My physical problems are there as well. But for me the biggest problem is the memory side of it. But um, I have to find a way to deal with it. Because I don't have much choice. Well, I don't have any choice. So I to say this video presentation to be fanciful about it will be disjointed and there'll be some cutting and pasting I'll get my hat together and do some editing in time so be prepared for things to stop and um, start up again because it's very early days and it's just a very recent decision to do this so um Life now is extraordinarily strange and uh, it's mostly unknown in a way. So basically all that's happened is I woke, I woke up and found I was in this situation. I have no memory of how I got into this situation. I'm just here. So I woke up, I'm in this room. And I've got these physical problems where I can't walk very well and can't move very well. The pain is definitely receding, so I'm not in too much pain normally. 